some of the best people are nurses, I believe, because you are giving your time and your compassion to another individual, right? You're being empathetic towards them saying, hey, I don't understand what you're going through, but I'm here for you. So to be able to do that, I think is huge. So when you have the compassion and the empathy for people, it doesn't matter what you do for them. It's just that you're able to help them in a way in which they're not able to help themselves. My name is Jermaine Sagbo. Um, I am from, I'm from a few places. I was born in Togo, um, which is a country in West Africa. And then I moved to St. Paul, Minnesota at the age of four. I lived there from age of four to age of 14, 15. Um, and then I spent my high school years in Waverly, Iowa for four years. You know, it was a pretty interesting transition. Um, the way that we got there is really as God, because when you look at it and think, how's a kid from West Africa at a school like Grandview in Des Moines, Iowa, right? How, how did that all happen? My dad was a nighttime jander. So every time my dad's going to work, we would be home from school. And every time we're going to school, he's going to work, right? So we never really saw each other unless it was the weekends. And mostly he would work the weekends. The Bernard family at this time, they become really good family friends with us. And they were moving to Iowa. And at the time they offered for me and my brother to move with them to Waverly, Iowa. I'll say for me, my why in life is definitely my mom. Uh, my mom back in Africa, our trip that we took back to Africa in 2019, I think that was the biggest life, that was the biggest life changing moment for me, um, just because I was able to see things that put my life in America in perspective, right? I was able to see my cousins who are sleeping on the floor, who are going to the well to get water every morning, who heat up the water so me and my brother can take a shower with hot water, right? Who wake up every day and work like crazy because that's the life they know, right? Whereas for me, when I have to use the bathroom or something, it's just a flush. Right? I don't have to go get water and then dump the water in the toilet. If I'm gonna shower, I just turn it on and let the water get hot. I don't wait there 30 minutes for that. I was able to really put in perspective my life when I went to Africa. And I think that for me showed me that I have no choice but to complete the task at hand, right? To keep going when it does get tough because I understand that I have family in Africa who would do anything for the position I'm, in which I'm in, right? So a BSN is a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. And I originally thought I wanted to be a teacher, um, but I want to go back to the inner city. And I believe that teachers don't get paid enough for some of the stuff they put up with within the inner city. The only reason why I want to go into nursing is because I personally have never had an uh, African American nurse, right? But every time I go to the hospital or the doctor's office, it's always um, a Caucasian nurse, which there's no issues with that. But when I'm thinking of like this as pediatrics, when you see someone or as a family see someone that looks like them, that might have some of the same cultural similarities as them, there's a sense of bond that's created there, which can help with um, looking at the care for that patient. So it's a big job of saving lives. So if we are saving lives, you want the most educated people and you want people who are committed, right? I think a lot of the nursing program is making sure that the right people are committed, making sure that the time commitment that is needed and the studying that is needed because you are gonna be in charge um, of another individual's life. I was like, nursing is definitely something that I wanna go into and one day uh, be able to give back to my country of Togo. The ultimate dream, the wildest dream would be to go back and build a hospital there um, in which you can have travel nurses who can give uh, the standard of care that we have here in America. This is changing generations of SAGBOs, right? This is a trend of changing my kids, my grandkids, et cetera, et cetera, of saying this is the standard of going to college, right? Being a first generation student, this is the standard of going to college, and this is all gonna go back to my parents who started that and opportunity for us, so.